Hello guys, just a moment to sort th some things out. Okay, hello guys. I hope you are doing great today. Um, so this is a tutorial of World of Warcraft. This is the game, uh, massive multiplayer game that I'm playing uh, some years now. And um, I'm making some uh, a small tutorial uh, and uh, gameplay of the game so that players that are looking for a game to start playing uh it's a, an interesting game and uh, you learn it slowly as you progress so um it's called uh, mmo which is basically the abbreviation of massive multiplayer online game and uh, you play a character, you create a character, you can choose uh, one of the two factions. One is the Alliance faction, and one is the Horde faction. Uh, the Alliance faction has mostly races like uh, humans, um, night elves, dwarves, um, worgen gnomes, um, and things like that. I will show you in a bit uh, on the screen. Uh, the Horde has uh, mostly um, races like Undead, um, uh, Torrents, um, Blood Elves, uh, Goblins, and this type. Now, the first thing uh, when you start the game, first of all, I want to say that this game uh, is with a subscription. So you have to buy the game and then you buy the expansions later. And um, you pay a subscription, which is like uh, nine, uh, ten, ten pounds or something per month. Um, so, um, if you really want a game to spend time while you are not busy 
or even if you are busy for some hours, uh, then it's a really nice game to, to start and play. It's for all ages. Um, the first thing uh, after you finish your subscription is to choose uh, uh, which server you are going to play on. There are a lot of servers. There are the normal servers, the RP ones, which are role-playing uh, servers. And uh, that's it. Basically, it used to be PvP servers and PvE servers, but uh, now uh, it's all, only RP, uh, which has role-play in it, and uh, normal servers. Uh, at the moment, most of my characters are in Magtheridon realm, and it's European realm. So if you are in Europe, it has different realms to play servers. If you are in US, it has different servers. So this is my server, Magtheridon, which is a balanced server. It has almost the same uh, amount of Horde and Alliance. Now... Um, these are my characters, but um, I'm not going to start with them. What I'm going to do, I will show you the creation. So if you want to create a character, as you can see, uh, you have um, the Alliance and the Horde. I, I mostly play Horde. Um, so I will start with the Alliance races and then move to the hard ones. So, <clears throat> if you see on the left side of the screen, the alliance races, then you can pick the gender on top, male or female for your character. And then on the right side, you can see the classes that you can become. Uh, each race has a limitation so some races, for example, cannot uh, choose a particular class. Um, so on races and alliance, we have humans, which look like this. Um, so the humans, you can customize. All, all of them you can customize. You can choose male or female. I will show the customization later on on a horde character instead. So this is the human and the dwarf male or female, the night elf female or male, the gnome male and female. This you can customize uh, as 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 much as you like. This is a drainay, which is an alien type that has goat uh, like goats with octopus face males and females and this is the working worgen which is basically werewolves uh female and male version uh there is a race that can be both factions which is the pandaren which are panda men from uh, and they can be male or female. And then we go to the Horde faction, which I play. So Horde faction is um, Orc, male or female. Uh, undead, this is the female and this is the male. As I say, it's not looking like that. You can customize it. It has different features. So you can make your character as much as you like it. Then we have the Tauren, which is something like a Minotaur. It's one of my favorite races, um, which can be male or female. Then we have the Troll, which is male and female. The Blood Elves, males, females and males. The Goblins males and females and now these are the basic races when you are starting but when you are uh, playing the game for a while and you move forward through the expansions 
now we have a new feature it called allied races so this is another screen of races that you can unlock uh, by doing quests and helping uh, some factions in the game and then they reward you uh, unlock you unlock you unlock the race to be able to play it so basically they look almost the same like previous races but they are different types for example uh, this is a lion side i don't have them unlocked because i play mostly horde so um this one is a void elf female and male then we have the dry like before but they are light for dry male and female iron dwarfs which are like black dwarves then we have another type of human which is more chubby and they are called kultiran this is the female and this is the male and last but not least we have gnomes but they are called mecha gnomes these have uh, mechanical parts attached to their bodies male and female and now we go to the horde so this is the nightborn race that i recently unlocked this is the male and this is the female then another torrent type but is called high mountain basically there they don't have horns like a bull they have like a deer adlers this is the male and this is the female magar orcs a different clan of orcs this is the male and this is the female Zandalari trolls, a different type of troll, males and females, and the vulpera, which are something like fox people. This is the females and this is the males. So basically, um, maybe what's that? Can you lower a bit, my low? Now we have, um, sorry about that. We have the Vulpera, which is male and female, like fox people. Okay, so I will go to the core races, which is the ones that you are to use when you, you know, when you start you will see these races because the others are locked so let's choose for example a blood elf this is horde side because i play horde side so let's say that we want to make a male uh, uh, blood elf on horde side now the options i will tell you about all the classes and then we will see what classes are allowed to, to have. So basically we have uh, the warrior class. Uh, they are wearing uh, heavy armors and they use uh, swords, axes, um, one hand and two hand. So uh, the warriors can either be a tank or a melee. I will talk about the roles later on uh, in another uh, uh, live. For now, I will just tell you about the races, the classes. So you can be either a warrior or a paladin. Paladins can be, uh, they wear also heavy armor and they have some spells and protective abilities and they can be tank healer or uh, melee dps damage then they are the hunters which usually wear uh, lighter uh, armor and these ones uh, they use the bow but uh, there is an option that it can be a melee hunter using pole arms and uh, weapons like that 
Um, Hunters, it's uh, not a, a very hard class. So if you are a new player and you want to do damage, I would suggest that you start with a Hunter because it can be a powerful class and at the same time it, it's an uh, easy class to play. Then we have the Rogues. So the Rogues were leather uh, armor and they basically... Um, have uh, daggers or sword swords and they can go stealthy and uh, surprise their enemies uh, stun them and things like that they can easily go out of combat um, then we have the priests so priests can be um, either healing priests that uh, help to heal their team or uh, they can be arranged damage uh, fighting with shadow magic then we have the summons which is not allowed for a blood elf to be a summon so summons can be either healers arranged damage or melee damage so basically they can heal they can um, use the elements and fight from from um, far and they can also um, use melee damage usually having uh, melee weapons and fighting from close combat they also use some totems that give them extra powers then we have the mage the mage is an overpower uh, class uh, they do a lot of damage so mages can be uh, arranged DPS, but they are usually like um, uh, they can choose from uh, different talent trees. They can either be mages that have powers of fire, uh, or mages frost, or mages uh, arcane. Then we have the Warlock. Warlocks are the type of um, class that, uh, let's say, have demonic powers. They are casters from far. They can summon demons, and depending the uh, specialization you choose, they can either, um, use uh, damage over time and curses or they can uh, do fire damage and control demons and things like that uh, then we have the monk which is uh, basically they can be either tank or healer or melee damage uh, monks are uh, really nice class personally i have a tank so let's say really quick what the role means a tank is the one that goes in front and he has abilities to keep busy the enemies and taunt them so that they don't go back to the rest of the team because if they go back they kill them really easily but the tank is the one that keeps all the enemies and uh, he has abilities uh, that is hard to hit him so that he keeps the mobs busy, the enemy, and then the healer heal him and the rest do damage. So that's the type of uh, roles that you have. Um, the next one is Druid. Druid again can be either tank, they can be healer, and they also can be ranged damage or melee damage. So the tank is the fatal before, he takes a bear form and he goes in front and uh, keep the enemies busy while the rest are killing them. Um, he can be a healer, which is killing the tongue and the rest of the team so that they don't die. And he can also be uh, ranged damage from far. So he's transformed like uh, it's called Moon King. So he takes a form of an owl type of beast and use the astral energy and um, he can be melee dps which basically takes a form of a cat or a tiger or dinosaur 
and uh, heats from clothes with the clothes and uh, everything. Now we have a demon hunter uh, class. So um, demon hunters can be either tanks or melee damage. They are really overpowered at the, at the moment and uh, they are easy to play. So um, the, the only thing is that you unlock them later when you have the expansion of the Legion and um, they start from uh, level 90, I think. So you don't need to level them from start. Um, but you need to already have a high level character to be able to make um, a demon hunter. Uh, last but not least is the Death Knight. So the Death Knights start also from level 55 and they are included in a uh, previous expansion uh, and they are playable uh, class. Death Knights um, can be three different uh, specializations. One is tank and it can be also melee DPS from close. And there are two types, either using frost spells or the other use, uh, uh, the other one is um, unholy. So he uses curses and he also has a pet uh, undead that help him. So that's really fast, the generic of uh, the classes uh, in World of Warcraft. And now I'm going to just for making a character let's try let's say that it will be hunter so now i'm going to choose a male hunter and i'm going to customize so that i give him the look of what he liked so you see on the left we have skin color face hairstyle hair color and facial hair now um, if you go to skin color on the right, you can choose what skin they have. More white, more gold, more dark. It's up to you, whichever you want to choose. I will personally choose this one now to customize this. And then we choose the face. So if you look at the faces, I will change from this side. It has different type of changes. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I will choose. Um, let's see. I will choose this face, and then I will go to hair style, which is the the type of hair I I. I want. So this is the type of hairs that you can choose on this race. As you can see, you have some options, different options there. I'm going to choose this one. And then you choose the hair color that you like. I will choose this one. And then you can choose also the facial, facial hair. None, just a bit. And then you give him a name. This is so this is how I customize my hunter. 
and then I will give him a name. You can choose any name you like, as long as it's not registered, because, for example, if you use um, a name, um, let's say, Lothar, it's already registered on the server, so you cannot choose it. It's unavailable. So you need to find a name that is not used for your character. And um, for this one, I will just call him test subject one. Test, test subject, just for the fun of it. And there we go, test subject is ready, and he's ready to play. So you log on to the world now, and you start playing. So this type of game begins with a lot of quests. So you start from level one, and you start from area, and it's a big fantastic world online. So it has a lot of places and you travel like you are traveling far. Uh, when you start, you just walk. Later on, on level 20, you get your first mount and you start riding a mount and go faster. And then later on, on uh, level 60, you are able to fly. Yes, mate. What's up? Eating? Yeah. So every time you make a character, you have the starting um, video and intro. And then you start slowly to make your quests. And these guys you see, guys, in the blue, they are other players. They play online the same time with you. So. So this is me. Um, so this is my character, Beast Master Hunter. I have my pet here, my starting pet. Later on, as a hunter, you can find other pets and tame them and use them. So here is an option to name the, your pet. Um, so. Um, I will call my dragon hawk um, mm, let's see I will call him Wing. Yes. And there we go. Now the name is Wing. So this is my character. I made the hunter. You, you get the first quest here. It describes here a story, but then you can see what you need to do. Kill six mana wings. They are located close to the burning crystal. So you accept the quest. And then here in the minimap on the right top, you can see the area which the quest is, or you can press M to open the map, and then you can see where the quest is. There is the interface also that I change some things every time I start the character. 
basically I add extra action bars to have them visible. Uh, okay, that's it. So now I see the extra bars here. Oops. All right, so now my first quest is here. We need to kill the mana worms. So I need to find where the mana worms are. There are a lot of people questing here, as you can see. That's why there are not many of the ones. Oh, there is one. So I right click and she starts hitting. And I also have down here my first ability, which is a Cobra Shot, a quick shot causing a damage and it uses the cooldown of kill command. So as you progress, you, you get more abilities. And then later on, uh, your bar is full, so you need to learn how to rotate your abilities to have a good deep damage and uh, things like that. So that comes some time. Now, this is another player. Now, as this is a NPC, non-player. So from this, you get quests or they can be guards in the city. And then you take the quest, then you give it back, you get experience points and you level up. But I'm not going to play this character now. Maybe can you lower a bit? It's a bit loud. Maybe. Uh, okay, so as I was saying, uh, I won't play this character. I just created it so that you can see uh, how you create characters and customization and everything. Uh, but now I'm going to log on um, a nightboard mains that I created recently that I unlocked the allied race and I'm going to uh, play with that one so I already have here level 40 the name is Nialotha and uh, this is the clothes she's wearing so the more you progress, you get uh, extra gear and sets. Then you can choose a set you like to wear or change. So uh, Nialotha is um, a maid, nightborn. And uh, I made here, I choose here to be a fire maid because I never played the fire maid before. Uh, and I know that they can be very good damage dealers. Uh, I only played in past um, Frost Mage and Arcane Mage, so I'm just doing this as a test character to, to learn how to play the Fire Mage. And I think it's better to start uh, a new character and progress him so that you learn uh, slowly the rotations and everything. So when you reach level 15, you unlock dungeons. And uh, also I think in level 10, 
you unlock battlegrounds. So basically, this game gives you a lot of options on what to play. You can play um, battlegrounds, which basically is players versus players. And it has to do with battlegrounds and some... Um, each battleground has um, a goal to achieve while you fight the other faction. So since, since I'm playing Horde, I'm fighting Alliance. Uh, and um, there are two teams. They are trying to achieve victory while they, they slay each other on the, the battlefield. So you play against players. So this one is called player versus player or PvP. Uh, and the other has to do, it's called PvE, so it means player versus environment. And basically it's uh, dungeons that you do with a team of five, one tank to keep the enemies, uh, one healer to heal the tank and the rest of the DPSs, and the rest three DPSs. So five people, they go into a dungeon, they take quests, they complete them, they fight bosses that drop better uh, gear for them. And um, that's it. Uh, and later on, when you hit maximum level, you go to either harder difficulty dungeons, like uh, the difficulties are normal, then heroic, and then mythic. Mythic is the most hard uh, level of a dungeon um so basically uh now that you are low level you join the queue for a random dungeon and here you can see it's looking automatically to find the rest of the roles and then when it finds the system finds the rest of the people then it pop up a message that you are ready to go to a dungeon. Then you go together and fight, and uh, you get experience points, killing boxes, and everything. So this is my uh, new mage, Nia Lotha. I really like this transmog on here. So transmog is something that you can change your appearance and what you wear. And um, now I'm going to try to queue us. Uh, I'm going to find a group. And there we go, we have a dungeon already. I'll just accept. And it pops you up to a random dungeon. So these are the abilities I have at the moment. So basically I start with the fireball, then I have the instant fire blast, and then I have the proc as we call it, pyro blast. This corpse is a uh, fast casting and you can move and, and uh, use it, cast and move. The rest you just need to wait this is the dragon's breath. And I kind of have a lot of luck. 
at the moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. So basically, Dragon Breath is an area of uh, effect, which uh, it's called uh, in different words, AOE. So the AOE, oh, I just got a level, nice. So the AOE means that it does damage to a lot of enemies, like this spell. See? This one is... Um, Flame strike, it drops down and hit a lot of enemies. So that is called AoE. And then the rest is single target spells. We'll do single damage to to a single target. So then usually when you have um, a lot of uh, players, uh, sorry, a lot of enemies, you use the AOE spells. So that's it, basically, guys. The um, the idea of World of Warcraft, and it becomes interesting. Uh, at the moment, the maximum level is uh, one hundred twenty. And uh, when you reach 120, it doesn't mean that the game ends there. Then it starts the interesting part. You can do big raids with 20 people and more, fight big bosses and get uh, good gear, like it's called epic gear. And it's a really nice game. And if you know some people and you start uh, playing together, it's even more fun because you can play together and talk same time. And it makes the game really nice to have friends that playing. Even your partner you can play. You can play with your partner or more friends can play. And it's really interesting and fun. And to be honestly, at the moment with my main character and some mounts, I already uh, did the last big grade uh, of this expansion. Even in the hardest uh, mythic difficulty, I'm already three bosses down, which is really enough for me. It doesn't need to be fully mythic. Uh, progress rate um, and it's nice and refreshing actually to start an alternative character as they are called alts we call them alts so if you have a main character and then you decide to make later on another you call it your alt character most of people that play long time, they have their main character and they have a lot of faults. So they hop from character to character, different type of characters and they play with them. This is a boss here. Yeah? 
So as you can see, we have a warrior in front tanking the boss. That's the tank's role to keep the boss busy. The rest of the damage dealers that they uh, are around, either from close or from far, hitting the boss to kill it. And then we have a monk healer that uh, keep us alive. And it doesn't mean that it's only that, that thing. Uh, I mean, the tank is tanking the boss and keep it on him, but the boss can turn and make also different abilities like this one. It stuns everyone. Or it can be pools of fire around and you need to move out of them. So every boss has its own uh, tactic fights that people need to do right. Else if they don't, then the group will wipe. They will all die. And then they need to do the boss again from start. Especially on the raids, imagine that there are big dungeons of 20 people and even more sometimes. So every and they are harder than the dungeon. And everyone needs to know the tactics and what they have to do because if someone messes up, all the group can die. That's why it's so challenging. I hope you enjoy, guys. Mages have the blink, so the blink helps you teleport a bit far away. Now, if you see, the tank couldn't hold the aggro and the threat of this mob, and it runs towards me. If I didn't have the blink to move around like that, I would be dead by now. So the important thing when you play a tank is to make sure you keep all the enemies on you. Because if you don't, then they run around to the rest and we are more squeezy and we die really badly. The fire mage feels so good because apart from the fireball casting, 
when it procs and flash up, you have this is instant fire blast too, which can do really nice damage. And this is the princess. Whoa, what a princess. She looks like an ogre, an ugly ogre. Oops. She saw me. What an ugly princess. Something happened and I, we got the aggro. The tank needs to keep the boss. And there we go. Yay! Alright, I got a new ability and a portal. I have invisibility. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was one quick dungeon. So these old dungeons, not all, but most can be really quick. Curious how will Fire Mage be in PvP? So I will try to queue for a battleground, which is player versus player. I'm not experienced too much on that, but I will try and see how it performs. But first, I will quickly check uh, what PvP talents for Fire Mates.
I will quickly check uh, on the net, which uh, it suggests I only have one talent to add, so it's all right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem really easily, to be honest with you, but uh, let's see what the talents uh, do. do. All right, I got Greater Fire Blast, which is slow casting, but it deals 35% of the target's total held in fire damage. So if you kind of manage to do it, it's very good, I suppose. So let's try and see. I put the battleground. I now if you drop jump from uh, high places you die usually but mage has this slow fall you cast it on you and for 28 seconds you fall slow so you don't take any damage really oh and i got the achievement going down <laughs> All 65 years without dying.
All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to stop the stream now. And uh, next time I will tell you a bit more about the PvP. We will try some PvP and see how it is and maybe play a bit on my main characters to see uh, the high level content as well. Uh, so this is uh, my small, uh, let's say, guide for you, for people that uh, didn't play the game and they want to start on a game that is interesting and they need to put some effort. It's a really nice game. As I explained um, before, it's good to also start playing the game with your partner or uh, friends. It, it makes it even more fun. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you very much for uh, watching my, vi my video. There will be more videos uh, going on uh, in the near future. So from me and from uh, Nia Lotha, bye bye. It's waving at you. Till next time, guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend and Monday. And I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. And uh, if anyone wants to start playing and needs more information, write down on comments so that I, uh, I can tell you where to go and what you need to do to start playing the game. I hope you have a good time, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care.